In the last video, I shared with you that one of the most important things that drove me into changing my perspective on why should I become the CEO when it was offered to me, which is something that I didn't want, uh, I essentially focused on finding the why. Uh, but I didn't share what that why was with you. So I'll share with you my why. And it has to do with this. First, I came to Axiom because I experienced firsthand that the work that we do can have an impact on us as business leaders, but more importantly, at a personal level. When you see others, as it happened to me, coming to the realization that I need to focus on what's within my control instead of, you know, blaming other stuff, even if it's very sophisticated blaming, it's still blaming. Uh, that is a very empowering sense. Even if I do not control the outcome, I still control the attitude that I have in front of what I am facing. Or things uh, such as, you know, I am expected to exceed expertise because I'm an executive or a leader. Well, yes, I do have that, but it doesn't mean I know everything. Matter of fact, I don't know most things. So how do I come across as somebody that has an expertise, but more importantly, has a voracious appetite to learn so we can better serve our mission? Those are two examples of what we do when we work with our customers. And I think that that translates not only into their effectiveness as business leaders, but it makes them better human beings to have better relationships with their families, with their spouses, significant others, their kids, their communities, etc. And that's what really matters and what really drives me into thinking what we're doing is powerful and we need to do more of it and we need to do deeper what we're doing. So I'll explain to you more of that later on. This is the why that drives me, and it has to do with making an impact in service of those business leaders that are also human beings living in the world, and they have a direct and indirect impact with those that surround them.